All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So, I was all, I am all for with banning TikTok. Still for banning TikTok. But, there's a few things that we need to clarify here on why I am not wanting to ban TikTok at this point. Because right now, what we're seeing is TikTok is just being used as a scapegoat for the other reasons. You know how, like, you know, the, the, like, when they put, when they make one thing as a front runner, but then there's other head and other stuff that's in the actual bill? Yeah, um, maybe we should, we're gonna have to go over that. Because there's a saying. Now, granted, this is from, the Guardian, but this needs to be pushed back. We need to ban TikTok, TikTok, not anything else or any of this authoritarian type of evil shit. All right. White House very in favor of bill thought to target TikTok. Says one of the authors of the Senate bill that would enable the U.S. Commerce Department to ban the technologies with links to foreign governments has said the Biden White House is very in favor of the measure, but stopped short of saying whether the administration has discussed possibly the prohibiting the Chinese-owned platform in particular. Appearing on CBS's Face the Nation on Sunday morning, Senator Mark Warner of Virginia has said the proposed legislation has also picked up support in, the, in his congressional chamber from 11 Democrats, of which he is one, as well as 11 Republicans. I think the, the White House is in very favor of this bill, said Warner, chair of the Senate com, uh, Select Committee on Intelligence. Without saying whether Biden's administration would push for these steps to be taken against TikTok, Warner added, added we would give the Secretary of Commerce the tools to ban to force a sale. Well, that is all well and good, and that's what we want. We we want to do that, ban it outright in, in the country, and not be allowed to be used for anybody, and not to be able to sell it, etc., etc., all right? So that's pretty much it. What they're doing is not what that says. What It's a lot worse than you guys think it is. It says, the bill to ban TikTok is absolutely terrifying. It gives the government the ability to go after anyone they deem as a national security risk, at which point they can access everything from their computer to video games to their, to their ring light. This is a Patriot Act for the Internet. The secretary, in consultation with the relevant executive department and agency heads, is authorized to and shall take action to identify, deter, disrupt, prevent, prohibit, investigate, or otherwise mitigate, including by negotiating, entering into, or imposing, and enforcing any mitigation measure to address any risk arising from any covered transaction by any person or respect to any property subject to the jurisdiction of the United States that the secretary determines. Desktop applications, mobile applications, gaming applications, payment applications, web-based or app web-based applications, or information and, commu and communication technology products and services integral to artificial intelligence and machine learning. Software, hardware, or any other product or service integral to de telecommunications products and services, including wireless local area networks, mobile networks, satellite payloads, satellite operations and control, cable access points, wireless access points, core networking systems, long, short, and bank backhaul networks, or edge computer platforms. Quantum key distribution, quantum communications, quantum computing, co post-quantum cryptography, autonomous systems, advanced robotics, biotechnology, synthetic th biology, computational biology, e-commerce technology, and, and services, including any electrical and service techniques for accomplishing business transactions, online retail, internet-enabled logistics, internet-enabled payment technology, and online marketplaces. And believe it or not, it gets even worse. If you find, if you find, if you if you find. If they find you in violation, they can put you in jail for 20 years, find you 1 million, and seize your property. They can also deem any for any foreign government on an adversary without informing Congress, and everything they do is not subject to FO, uh, Freedom Act, Freedom Nations Act. The F Secretary may impose the following civil penalties on a person for each violation by the person of this act or any regulation, order, direction, mitigation, measure, per med mitigation measure, prohibition, prohibition, or other author authorization issued under this act. A fine of not more than 250000 or more amount that is twice the value of the transaction that is based on the violation with respect to which penalty is imposed which, uh, whichever is greater. Revocation of any mitigation measure of author authorization issued under this act to the person. In general, a person who willfully commits, willfully attempts to commit, or willfully conspires to commit, or aids or abets in the commission of an unlawful act described in subsection shall, upon conviction, be fined not more than a hundred one million, or if a natural person may be imprisoned for not more than twenty years, or both. 
for retro in general. Any property, real or personal, tangible or intangible, used or intended to be used in any manner to commit or facilitate a violation or attempted violation described in paragraphs shall be subject to the forfeiture to the United States. Any property, real or personal, tangible or intangible, constituting or traceable to the gross proceeds taken, obtained or retained in connection with, with or as a result of violation or attempted violation described in paragraph 1 shall be presented to forfeiture, a forfeiture to the United States. Section 6, Destination for Adversaries. The destination the Secretary may, in consultation with the Director of National Intelligence, Intelligence, designate any foreign government or regime as a foreign adversary if the Secretary finds the foreign government or regime is engaged in a long-term pattern or serious conditions that conduct significantly adverse to the national security of the United States or security and safety of the United States persons. Any information submitted to the federal government by a party to a covered transaction in accordance with this act, as well as any information on the federal government may create relating to the review of the covered transaction, is exempt from disclosure under Section 552 of Title V United States Code, uh, commonly referred to as the Freedom of Information Act. If this was about banning TikTok, they would pass a bill that simply bans TikTok. But the unit party is trying to create the same system of domestic spying they did after 9-11 for the internet but on steroids. And to help us cost for the screenshots. The bill was introduced by Senator Mark Warner from Virginia. Here's a list of all the people co-sponsoring co it. Basically runs the table for worst members of the D.C. party. All these people. Look at these fucks. Look at these fucks. All these pieces of garbage. Lindsey Graham, of course. All these pieces of garbage. Look at this. All this garbage. Fuck some of these Republicans, man. Fuck them, man. I swear to fucking God. These Republicans need to go and... And the Democrats. What the fuck is this shit? We have more. Now we know why the feds are pushing to ban TikTok. The Restrict Act would allow the feds to access all the data on our devices, including Ring and home security apps, and it would be a crime to use a privacy device. They've gone full 1984. Another good rundown of the Restrict Act. Note, the Restrict Act would allow the government to access all the data on your video devices if it is a service that uses over what over 1,000 people, over 1 million people. This includes services like Ring, Doorbell, Home, and Security Cameras, and so much more. A VPN won't help you get around this either. If you're caught using a, very, a privacy device such as a VPN, you will face up to 20 years in prison and or up to a million dollars in fines. Everyone needs to hear about the Restrict Act. This bill is, is also recurrently known as the TikTok ban by many, but it looks as though we were all deceived again. The TikTok ban is nothing but a distraction while they try to push the Restrict Act into law. Uh, the caucus. The Restrict Act is not limited to just TikTok. It gives the government authority over all forms of communication, domestic or abroad, and grants powers to enforce any mitigation to address any risk to national security now and any potential future transaction. Says to, I want to read the biggest things here to to view the uh, to to authorize the Secretary of Commerce to to review and prohibit certain transactions between persons in the United States and foreign adversaries and for other purposes. Imposing and enforcing any mitigation measure to address any risk arising from any covered kind of transaction by any person or respect to any property subject to the jurisdiction of the United States that the Secretary determines. Covered transaction includes a current, past, or potential future transaction. So what happens if you're designated a national security threat? What can they access of yours to confirm it? Everything. Notice a preemptive attack on quantum encryption fee in there too. So we're seeing all this stuff here already. This is already stuff that they, that they, that they post. It allows the Director of National Intelligence and Secretary of Commerce the authority to universally designate new foreign adversaries without notifying Congress in a 15-day without day window to notify the President. It also requires a joint reconciliation to Congress to overturn. If you recall from before, foreign individuals can also be U.S. citizens that are deemed a national security threat. Once designated, the bill grants authority to enforce any action deemed unnecessary to mitigate the threat with no due process and few limits on punishment. After the federal government has detained you without due process to mitigate the immediate threat, you pose what kind of punishments await you in court. One million dollar fine and 20 years in prison and the forfeiture of everything you own. Everything you owned. The act, this act also grants unlimited hiring power to business of enforcement, unlimited funds with little or no review of immunity to FOA, the Freedom of Information Act. So, yeah, that's what's going on. So we have bloody stupid Republicans doing this stupid shit. 
And we have uh, all these uh, uh, these Democrats also in support of it. Yeah, the Republican, the eleven Republicans and the eleven Democrats are the people that we hate. This bill cannot pass. Absolutely cannot pass without a doubt. They will have full control over our lives without a doubt. Us people like me and you will be going to jail if we don't align with like the transgender ideology, whatever. They will be targeting us. This bill needs to be stopped. It is complete asinine. And it, 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 this, this is insanity. We have to fight back on this one hard. Fight, talk to all your representatives and whatever because this needs to end. This is insanity. That's it for the video, guys. Like, subscribe, share. As always, take care. Fuck this shit, man. This is insane.